Hello students, I am your 7 minute teacher. I will teach you mathematics for 7 minutes. Are you ready? The first mathematics lesson that I will explain to you for 7 minutes is factoring polynomials. But first, what is factoring of polynomial? Factoring polynomial is rewriting a polynomial as a product of two or more polynomials. To understand more on the meaning, let us take this as an example. If 2 times 3 is equal to 6, these 2 and 3 are what we called factors. And this 6 is what we called product. In factoring, we will be going to look for the factors of a given number or an expression. Which means, all the problems in factoring are the products of a number or an expression. Let us take these examples. What are the factors of 8? The factors of 8 are 2 and 4 or 1 and 8. How about xy? The factors are x and y or y and x. Very good. Now you fully understand the concept of factoring. I think you are ready now in factoring an expression. The first type of factoring that I will explain is factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. But first, we need to review some concepts in mathematics. What would be the product of x times the quantity of x plus 5? That would be x squared plus 5x. How about 3x times the quantity of x plus 3? That would be 3x squared plus 9x. If we will apply the concept of factoring here, the product would be the given. And we are going to solve for its factors. Here are the steps in factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. First, find the greatest common factor, GCF, of each terms. Second, divide each term of the given expression with the GCF. And third, the factors of the given expression are the GCF and the quotient in step 2. Let us practice first in solving the greatest common factor of an expression. We have an expression x squared plus 5x. First, we need to look for the prime factors of each terms. So, we have, for the x squared, that would be x times x. For 5x, we have 5 times x. Second, we need to identify the common factors of each terms. In this case, we have x. So the GCF of x squared plus 5x is, x. Now try this. 3x squared plus 9x. Again, we need to look for the prime factors of each terms. So, we have For the 3x squared, that would be 3 times x, times x For 9x, we have 3 times 3, times x Second, we need to identify the common factors of each terms In this case, we have 3 and x so the GCF of 3x squared plus 9x is 3x. I think you are ready now in factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. Let us try this. We have 8y plus 16. First step 1, find the greatest common factor, GCF, of each terms. For the first term 8y, we have 2 times 2, times 2 times y. For the second term, 16, we have 2 times 2, times 2, times 2. The common factors are 2 times 2, times 2. So the GCF is 8. Second, divide each term of the given expression with the GCF. Our expression is 8y plus 16. So we need to divide 8y divided by 8. That would be y. And 16 divided by 8, that would be 2. And the third step. The factors of the given expression are the GCF and the quotient in step 2. So, the factors of 8y plus 16 are 
8, and y plus 2. Let us try this example, 14x cubed y, minus 21y squared. For step 1. For the first term 14x cubed y, we have 7 times 2, times x, times x, times x, times y. For the second term, 21y squared, we have 3 times 7, times y, times y. The common factors are 7 and y. So the GCF is 7y. Step 2. Our expression is 14x cubed y, minus 21y squared. So, we need to divide 14x cubed y, divided by 7y. That would be 2x cubed. And negative 21y squared, divided by 7y, that would be negative 3y. Step 3. So, the factors of 14x cubed y, minus 21y squared, are 7y, and 2x cubed minus 3y. Now, let us try this one. 9 squared, b cubed, plus 15 a raised to 5, b raised to 4 minus 18 a cube, b squared. For step 1. For the first term 9 a squared, b cubed, we have 3 times 3, times a, times a, times b, times b, times b. For the second term, 15 a raised to 5, b raised to 4, we have 5 times 3, times a, times a, times a, times a, times a, times b, times b times b, times b. For the third term, 18 a cube, b squared, we have 2 times 3, times 3, times a, times a, times a, times b, times b. The common factors are 3, a, a, b and b. So the GCF is 3 a squared, b squared. Step 2. Our expression is 9 a squared, b cube plus 15 a raised to 5, b raised to 4, minus 18 a cube, b squared. So, we need to divide 9 a squared, b cube, divided by 3 a squared, b squared. That would be 3b. For the second term, we have 15 a raised to 5, b raised to 4, divided by 3 a squared, b squared. That would be 5 a cube b squared. For the last term, negative 18 a cube, b squared divided by 3 a squared, b squared. That would be negative 6a. Step 3. So, the factors of 9 a squared, b cube, plus 15 a raised to 5, b raised to 4, minus 18 a cube, b squared, are 3 a squared, b squared, and 3b plus 5a cubed, b squared, minus 6a. We are done in factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. See you next video.